Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for stopping by. Some of the information I have here is going to be very interesting. The last video I done was about the only card you ever need for your GoPro. The highest capacity card on the market today, I think it's 256 gig. What I have here is a PNY 128. Notice the GoPro. Back of the uh, product is a 60 meg read. Unknown of the write speed because it'll tell you it's all about the host device. This is the top card. You can see what I'm uh, putting into the camera and what the camera is saying. Now I am going to be doing a uh, time lapse here. I am going to set the camera up. It accepted the card. Still says uh, ND, no card in there. And I bring it up nice and close to you. I am going to press it. And I am ready to go. Nope. Shut the camera off. Turn the camera on. Still says no SD card in there. Because you need to actually press it into place. And I do apologize for that. So let me bring everything up nice and close and what would you like me to do to uh, get this thing going? Resolution is at 1080p 4K super wide Auto 30 seconds so we know we are on video at 4K right over here. Camera is running and we'll be back in about 10 minutes or so and we'll do a time lapse and I'll zoom in on it so you can see it blinking. I'll come back in a few minutes and enjoy. Alright, so I can now back out of this and we'll set it up and have a final conclusion here. Press the stop. Everything works just fine. How much more can you ask about that? Having a 128 gig card work just like that for you right on the spot and uh, not having any issues not knowing its class write speed understanding it's probably 20 meg just as big as the file size of my Samsung so why is everybody crying about why do we gotta have a high write speed Post down below, quality of the video, 20 megs would do just fine. That give you your high quality video. Would 90 meg write speed do any better? Not sure. Well, I got better things to do than observing. Have a great day and enjoy.